There's more big fish. There's three new collectible fish. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna do MSQ on Paladin, actually. Fuck it. Ah, Nuccio. As always, your timing is most fortuitous. I wish to share with you news concerning Zero. You will recall that in exchange for Aether, she agreed to aid us in our search for my sister. At Ishtola's suggestion, I began providing said Aether in the form of food. Zero has found the arrangement to be agreeable, and she has been eating steadily. Yeah, we were giving her, like, apples and stuff. She liked apples. In large part due to that, she claims to have already made a full recovery. If you and the others are ready as well, I would set forth for the void once more. Okay, excellent. I shall inform Ishtola and Asinian, and then go to collect my other vessel from the alchemists. In the meantime, might I ask you to fetch Zero? She was absent when I visited her chambers earlier, but I suspect you will find her in the corridor connecting Yuge and Kama. It seems she's grown partial to the view of the city it affords. Gotta go get Zero. Everyone is so carefree. Uh huh. Unafraid and unconcerned in spite of their weakness. And how easily their lives could be torn apart in an instant. Yeah. Such luxuries are lost to us. We have no hopes or dreams. And even the release of death. Only hunger. So why would you ever act afraid if you can't die? Others are a means to an end. At times, a literal one. We forge covenants with men and come here to feed. Or to die. Uh-huh. I thought it would be no different when I was summoned by Xenos. I thought you said you can't die. Can void entities die when they're summoned to us? I guess. Is that what she means? Lives were tools to him. To be used and discarded whim. In that respect, he was a void sent at heart. But towards you, and you alone, he behaved differently. And I cannot fathom why. Void what creatures be weird. Drove him? What made him choose such an end? What was it that drove him? What made him choose such an end? It was the fact, because at the end of his, if we even want to say, quest, kind of realized what he's doing was pointless. He got so battle drunk with me that he forgot everything else. In short, but of he was that. crazy. <laughs> He's dead and we are all better for it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we got stuff to do, lady. Come on. We gotta go look for Ashdaya. So you're heading back now. Then as per our bargain, I will go as well. I really hope you stop being annoying soon. <laughs> God, please. Please. Her design's so cool. <laughs> but I can't stand talking to her for more than 30 seconds. <laughs> Varshan went big mode. Everyone is here? Good. Let us set forth for the void once more. But I'm sure she's going to follow a, a huge character development arc and then inevitably die in some like Omega esque fashion where she's like, I finally get it. And then with her last breath, she's going to look over at us and go, uh, thank you. And then fade away and we're going to be like, no. She has so much potential. <laughs> That's how it's going to go, I promise. What is it? Uh. Uh. He's calling. Concern. You good? What is the meaning of this? You tell us, man. What the fuck was that? Unless I'm mistaken, that was intended for one of your kin. Who? It was for the briefest of moments, but I felt her. Oh. Ashdair. That's good. <laughs> Shifty eyes. Right? <laughs> I thought she was in the void. As did I. Yet the presence was unmistakable. Thus did I call out. Only for it to fade and vanish. Huh. Perhaps she crossed over to the source, then immediately turned back. I 
do not know. What if she comes to serve as like like a dragon avatar for Vritra? And Vritra becomes a, a dragon reaper. That'd be awesome. Could she have found a way home? The how of it aside, if she was indeed in the source, there may be clues where she came through that could lead us back to her. Why would she be in the source? <laughs> Why are you so easily understanding the fact that she could be in the source, Yashtola? Is there something you're not telling us? Where exactly was it that you felt her presence? Far to the north. That was all I could discern. Oh. The north, you say? Beyond the bounty. Garlemald. It's about to get snowy. As good a place to start as any. My apologies, Zero. But your return to the void will have to wait. I told you before that I have no reason to go back there. Do as you will. All right. I presume you wish to stay here in Razatan until we return. Milady. You've kept me amply fed. I wouldn't be averse to helping you in your search. Oh, character development. She's like, I like you. I'm gonna follow you. If Ashdaya was indeed here, other void scent may have made the journey as well. That's true. Very well. We would welcome your company. Can't hurt. If it's decided, then I'll contact our associates in Garlemald. It's me. Still talking everyone's ears off, I trust? Understood. We'll see you there. We're to rendezvous at Tertium. If there is nothing else, let us see to our final preparations. Gods revel, lands tremble. Do you think the lands tremble is a uh, part of the MSQ, and the gods revel is part of the alliance, or do you think they're both part of the alliance, or do you think they're connected? It's got to be Nafika's big bouncing. Moogles. By all accounts, Ashdaya is uh, Golbez's prisoner. Yet, if she was in the source, it could be that she managed to escape from the void, if only for a fleeting moment. But that is mere conjecture. If we want the truth, then we must go and find it. Come, let's make for Tertium. Our friends are waiting. I should have rewatched my video for a refresher. But if I remember correctly, last time we found out that Ashdaya was being. She was basically turned into like a fucking charcuterie board, like a buffet for the void. King Golbez, yes? She's being snacked on. And Golbez gave Barbariccia and a few other like lords of the void power. And Golbez has a bunch of it. But as Jedaya is still alive, question mark, slash savable, because they were eating her scales or like parts or whatever. So as far as we know, I think I think that's about it. What was the reason again why we took Zero back to, uh, why did we take her back to the source? Was it just because she fainted and we cared about her? Was that literally it? Because she saved us and we didn't want her to get, you know, eaten by other void creatures because she was weak. Yeah, she needed Aether because she helped us with Scarmillion. Scarmillion? Scarmillion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think I remember everything now. My friends, it is good to see you again. What's up, gangsters? And you. I was worried that the cold wouldn't agree with you, but you're both looking quite well. You get used to it. It helps that there's no shortage of fuel and heaters like before. Glad to hear it. Have you been working in Garlemald all this time? We have. Though the worst is behind them, the people still have a long road ahead. With the nation in ruins and the leadership void yet to be filled, there remains a lack of direction, a pervasive sense of aimlessness and worry. Isn't Zero like the only one that can make the void scent not respawn? To our knowledge right now, yeah, because she helped us in that fight in the last patch. She was the reason why us four right here actually got out of there because we were being forced to fight like constant ads from Scarmillion. And then Zero had this nifty trick of like eating them. Or like stopping them from respawning, something like that. She's got the, oh yeah, the Memoria shit, right? Is that like a, that's like a spiritual kind of power she has, right? That's not like a physical object she owns. It was just the Memoria. 
they don't respawn if they're eaten by another void scent, right? I think that I think the void scent lives on kind of in a way in the void scent that eats them, if that makes sense. They trap void via memoria, but isn't that similar to white Arasite? Kind of? Where do they actually trap the void things in? It's the Echo of 13, I believe. Yeah, something like that. Similar in nature. It's like a literal psychic kind of power they have. And she's like the last one of her kind that we know of. They just like crystallize the void. Yeah, they like they physically like crystallize them and it looks like white Arasite almost. What happens to those crystals? I don't know. What we could do with those crystals? I don't know. I don't know if that was ever explained. But that's something that Zero can do, which is why she was so important to us. Still, everyone wants to make things better. And we're here to help. A lot of Garleans wanted nothing to do with us, but they're starting to come round. Slowly, but surely. Good, finally. You're doing a fine job. Yeah, if they're actually listening to you now. You're too kind. But it's thanks to the cooperation of like-minded souls that we've been able to make any progress. The allied nations continue to send supplies, which allow us to meet basic needs such as food and shelter. Meanwhile, Eulis and a number of soldiers have begun a restoration initiative, with more and more volunteers joining by the day. Like Alphano said, they've got a long road ahead of them. But we'll get there together, one step at a time. But enough about events here. What brings you to us? And with new company, besides... <laughs> Well, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh... This may take rather a long time to explain, but bear with me. Oh, yeah, we haven't told them what happened in a while. When's the last time we talked to them? Blah, 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 blah. The 13th. After traveling to the edge of existence, I thought you'd keep your escapades closer to home for a while. But I suppose there's no stopping you. Not that I'm one to talk, of course. The heart of an adventurer cannot be denied. You could have at least invited me, too. Surely there was room enough for me and Grahar in the Undersea Vault. Was <laughs> that Alphano? <no? laughs> I thought you were busy. <laughs> I know, I know. I only meant to tease. <laughs> Mostly. But on a more serious note, are we sure it's wise to keep Xenos' former avatar around? That's what I'm saying. I understand how you came to work together. But nevertheless... You're right to be cautious. I'm a void scent after all. But do not conflate me with Xenos. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Zero didn't care at all about Xenos. Rather, Zero cared about Xenos's power, right? And like what she could get out of it. To recall my time in his service, it angers me. Hmm. Interesting. Is that so? I think we'll get along just fine, you and I. <laughs> well, yeah. If that's the case, you two are going to be besties. Now that we are all caught up to the matter at hand, as we were about to resume our search in the void, I felt the presence of my sister Ajdaya in the source. Somewhere in the far north, perhaps even here in Galdemald. If you have seen or heard anything out of the ordinary, I must know. Yeah, I actually don't remember how Xenos and Zero came to be, like, in service, right? I don't know if it was a mutually beneficial thing. If I had to guess off the bet, yeah, I'd say that Fan Daniel had something more of, like, assigning Zero. Or, like, forcing Zero to do it. Or As I don't remember. Fact, we may have. Oh. In recent days, we have had to contend with a surprising number of voids and... And not the lesser kind that occasionally manifest. But one's possessed of considerable power. Hmm. That... I think they might have been summoned. By whom? That can't be a coincidence. We're not sure. But as Eulis reminded us, practitioners of a certain traditional Garlean art rely upon void sent servants. Yeah, Reapers. The very same I believe you have mastered. While there are no known Reapers left in Garlemald, we can't rule out the possibility that some are working in secret. To summon not one, but several powerful void scent is no small feat. But if Ashdaya was indeed called from the void... Then it is likely the same party is responsible. Alternatively, 
The etheric confluence at the Tower of Babel may have triggered an expansion of natural fissures one could use to cross over. But I think that improbable, if not impossible. Then we must assume these events have indeed been orchestrated. Well, summoned or no, we've been trying to track them to their origin. It's the mountains to the east, we think. Can you guide us there? I would, but the terrain is too difficult to traverse on foot. Nor is flying an option due to the winds. Too much ground to cover in any case. Is there no way to narrow it down? I'm sure There's Zero has some crazy to ability to, An like, hone in on Void Sen, right? Once been home to a Reaper order. An isolated village rumored to have once been a home to a Reaper order. Oh. That would indeed make an excellent start. Though the question of how to get there remains. Eulus may be of assistance. Let us return to Camp Broken Glass and consult him. Let us ride polar bears or something. We gotta ride polar bears, bruh. <gasps> There's more big fish. There's three new collectible fish. Oh, shit. Ah, Anuccio. What a welcome surprise. And I see you're traveling with a large crew as usual. Not to suggest that's an inconvenience for us. We'd be happy to share our supplies with you and your allies, should you require any. You're different. <laughs> you're not so much of a dick anymore. What happened? Apologies if we interrupt, Ulyss. But there is a matter which we wish to discuss. We've just finished our routine briefing, so you come at a good time. Is this about the Void Scent? Oh, how'd you know? It is. From what we can discern, they're coming from the mountains to the east. Practitioners of the Reaper Arts once lived in that area, did they not? Yes, they had a village there in Lapis Manalis Caverns. Oh, that's the dungeon name. The scythe wielders forged packs with Void Scent and took to battle with the beings at their side. For a time, they played an invaluable role in our military, but the advent of Magitek saw them fall out of favor. And when some were unmasked as insurrectionists, the order was outlawed. The village is believed to be long abandoned. Speaking of their art, it seems you've picked it up. Who was it that taught you? Well, I suppose it's neither here nor there now. My sister has been taken captive by Voidsent. I sense her presence in uh in this land, and I've come in search for her. If the Voidsent have sighted uh, have been sighted here, then I believe there is a connection. We should like to investigate these caverns you mentioned, but Alphano tells us they are not so easily reached. I'm afraid so. Deep so, deep snow and tumultuous winds rule out walking and flying. If you want to get anywhere, you're going to need Magitek Snowcraft. Alas, the last remaining functional one we had has broken down. Should still be over in the Cerulea Ingens, where it was abandoned. Is there anyone who can fix it? We know a guy who can fix anything! Perhaps the former engineers at Tapper's Den. Their duty included transporting Ceruleum tanks to Juturna Platform G using Snowcraft. I expect they had to maintain a few over the years. That's worth looking into, I'd say. In the course of delivering provisions, I've come to know the people there quite well. If they can help us, I'm sure they will. <laughs> they literally refuse to call Sid. <laughs> May I ask you to accompany her? Given the presence of Void Sent, it's best that we avoid traveling alone. Alize, was it? I wish to speak with you. Oh. In that case, why don't you come with, us, uh, well, come with us to Tapper's Den? We can chat on the way. What was it you wished to talk about? There's a lot of voice acting in this patch already. That's awesome. Why do you help these people? Ah, more character development what time. What is it that you stand to gain? We just defeated Nihilism Incarnate. And here we are. Nihilism 2. I'm sorry? You don't act on behalf of a higher power, nor are you bound by a contract. In spite of this, you help them. Why? <laughs> and there I thought it was something serious. I help them because I want to. Because it's the right thing to do. But what do you stand to gain? You didn't answer the question. Didn't I? I followed my heart. What I got out of it came after. Was there anything else? If not, let's keep moving. <laughs> She's so confused. <laughs> Zero's like, erm, what the frick? Right. Thread closed. To act not out of obligation or in pursuit of gain. 
to simply live. And they survive like this. Yeah, this this character arc might be over sooner than I thought it would be. <laughs> Are you all right, Zero? Did I say something that confused or upset you? No, I'm simply trying to understand your perspective. If you wish to continue, I am ready and able. Well, that's a relief. This isn't the sort of place you want to mull over things. It's not much farther to Trapper's Den, or Tapper's Den. I doubt we'll have much trouble finding an engineer when we arrive, so let's speak with the first one we spot. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing too, Aaron. <laughs> I think Zero's dead, and I think she dies as soon as she realizes how edgy she's being, and she's like, oh, I should start being nice to people. I get it now. Blech. Wait, I know you. You're one of the roughed up guards. You're the one who roughed up the guards, rather. After you left, your contingent friends came along. Our lives are a lot easier now, thanks to them. They understood our plight and offered to help. Whether we wanted to stay here or return home for that, we're truly grateful. We're grateful for you too, Alizé. The trip across the lake is hardly pleasant, but you make it all the same to bring us provisions. Oh, don't mention it. We're just glad to help. That said, we're actually hoping to ask uh, a favor of you today. We need a Magitech Snowcraft repaired, the one abandoned in the Cerulea Ingens. We were told you might be able, uh, you might be up to the task. Ah, so you want to ride the mammoth. That's what we took to calling the crafts on account of their size. As often as I use them on rigs, I know a thing or two about their maintenance. I'll see if I can get your mammoth roaring again. It's the least I can do to repay your kindness. Wonderful, please come back uh, with us to Camp Broken Glass and we'll take it from there. I mean, yeah, that is the point. Her world is basically a Darwinistic hell, but it doesn't make her more personable. I mean, I guess that's just kind of the disconnect that I'm getting when I when I reach characters like Zero, is that when, when you have a functioning mind that's able to think about what you need to do every day, you need to wake up, you need to eat, you need to breathe, you know, you need to drink water, you need to survive or do whatever you do. Why, why can't you, in all of your time existing, even just think about, like, maybe how other people should treat other people or how other creatures should treat other creatures? And maybe, like, oh, maybe this creature that I'm interacting with is going through it, too. Maybe I should be nice to them or maybe I should help them or something like that. That's why I never understand characters like Zero. I just don't get it. And I get why they end up the way they are, like for the sake of storytelling. But like at the end of the day, I just don't understand it. And I think it's annoying. That's just the bottom line. Well, rather I understand it, but I don't agree with it. That's the better way to put it. I refuse to believe that things that can think will never think to be empathetic. Welcome back. I presume this is the engineer who will help us with the craft. I'll do everything I can to get her up and running again, but I doubt I'll be able to do so so quickly, at least on my own. The mammoth is big and so are its parts, so strong backs should make the work go faster. You have hours. You finished learning about the mountain, I take it. Aye, we have a solid grasp of the area as well as a sight of the snowcraft. Nice. My back is perhaps not as strong as some, but I should be glad to stand guard for void scent and other unruly wildlife. Much obliged, miss. Now let's all head over to the mammoth and assess what needs fixing. We got a Stinian with us. We'll be fine. They have matters here well in hand, which means we can resume our duties. Would you care to assist us, Sanuchio? Yeah. How about you, Zero? I will assist you as well, as payment for answering my question. Oh, <gasps> gasp. It's hardly something that demands payment, but we'd be glad for your contribution nonetheless. I personally don't think she doesn't understand the concept of cooperation, but she's fundamentally coming from a place where cooperation and aiding your lessers accomplishes nothing. We see those as good because they're mutually beneficial, but what if you lived in a society? See, it's the fact that she doesn't understand that you can just help someone regardless of their standing and feel good about it. Everything's transactional to her, and it's to the point where when she sees us do nice things, she thinks that we're stupid for doing it. She, like, gets snarky at us for being nice to people, and that's just annoying to me. I'm sure she can understand, and I know she can because she's doing it right now. After she saw us doing it and realized that we're not fighting and getting at each other's necks for it. It's just her demeanor, how she comes across. Like, if she were more like, oh, where I come from, like, we don't help each other because it, it, it's stupid, like, where we come from. Like, we don't gain anything. But I see how you guys are doing it, but she's never been like that until this patch so far. That's why I haven't liked her so much until now. I totally get where she's coming from. But the fact that she's being rude and snarky to us in the past patches when we've gotten to her is just like, it's eye rolling is the best way I can put it. It's like, ugh, like you're so edgy and annoying. 
And it's being proven literally right now because she's quickly turning around and realizing how rude she's been, which is where I wanted the story to go, actually. So I'm excited to see how she changes over this one patch because I know it's going to happen. Void scent were spotted here not too long ago. Considering the proximity to the camp broken glass, everyone is considerably, uh, understandably concerned, but hopefully not for much longer. You follow this road eastward and I'll have a look north. If you should encounter any void scent, I won't begrudge you for dispatching them without me. I got it, baby. Hmm, I wonder where I'm going to find uh, enemies to battle. I agree. However, she has great loot art, so I am okay with the character now. <laughs> I my, my issue is, I don't even know if it's an issue. I, I read too deeply into characters and I, I want to understand the way, like the reason why they feel the way they do when it's bottomless or just like unwarranted rudeness or like anger or snarkiness even like it just, it, it ticks me off. And I, I, I'm vocal about not liking that character and YouTube hates that. Let me tell you that right now. They're like, why can't you just like insert new character here? They're awesome. Okay, they're fucking, they're mean. Be nice. All finished, are we? Good. Kind of cold, eh? The cold doesn't let up out here, does it? They've okay. the means to keep everyone warm at Camp Broken Glass and Tertium. But the measures are still only temporary. Subsisting on charity. Dreading the day the sympathy of others is exhausted. It's no way to live. They need lasting safety and security. True. You're right. Though things will never be as they once were. You know what we should do is have everybody move away from Garlemald. <laughs> if we can restore a modicum of normalcy to their lives, maybe that will be enough for them to move forward. If we're to achieve that, we have to work harder. I have to work harder. You're doing your best. Anyone can see that. Yeah, Alize is doing a really good job out here, actually. Oh, lest you misunderstand, I wasn't fishing for a compliment. As I said, I'm doing this because I want to. Good. Keep doing it then. Still, I appreciate your support. Yeah, it's it's their home, so I can understand them not leaving too. Especially because Garlians are, you know, very patriotic. Is that the right word to use? They stand by everything they were raised around, I guess, and like their country, their countrymen and stuff. So they like, they never want to leave. It's glory to Garlemald, et cetera, et cetera. It's hard for them to get their society back up and running because they were so advanced and then boom, like hard crashed, right? But well, man, they really picked a done. really bad back. place to crash. <laughs> this is the worst climate to survive in on primitive technology. <laughs> I hope Alpha No and Zero haven't gotten into any trouble. I cannot imagine how awful it must have been to serve as Zenos' avatar. For real. To not only suffer him, but so much else. Yeah. She's a fighter, all right. Like you and me. True. Probably had a rougher time than we have, honestly. With the void. Hey, look at her go. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Look at you, Zero! See? It's not hard. And nobody's gonna make fun of you for helping someone else. This feels... strangely familiar. I knew it! Back when she was with her, her people before the void went all crazy, they weren't always mean. Oh, this is setting off so many... Dude, her society of, of people that used to live in the void used to be nice, I'm telling you. They used to be nice people. She understands what empathy is. And for all the people out there that thought that she was never empathetic or didn't understand it, eh, right here. I think she's awesome. She's actually a cool character. Excuse me, Alpha no. My wife, she's come down with a high fever. Do you think you could take a look at her? She just forgot. Exactly. Of course. Give me a moment. Zero, may I leave the rest here to you? Fine by me. Thank you again for your help. Uh, Zero, was it? I take it you're one of Alphano's comrades? Comrade? We've entered into a cooperative pact, if that's what you mean. Pact? No, no, nothing so formal. <laughs> what I mean is, you must know each other well. 
be on good terms, enjoy each other's <laughs> that sort of thing. The way Euless did that like shifty eyed look, <laughs> he was like, um, fucking what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> then no, he's not my comrade. I have none. Nor will I ever, I think. <laughs> this is why I think she's annoying. Oh. <laughs> me! Actually me! <laughs> <What I> <laughs> Did I say something odd? Yes, weirdo! <laughs> oh my god. No, not at all. On the contrary, it makes sense. When Alphino and the contingent first arrived, we rejected them out of hand. Yeah. Actually, Euless could give her a lot of insight here. Whatever they may have claimed, they were the enemy. Savages with their savage ways. To accept their help was to admit defeat. But no matter how poorly we treated them, they didn't turn their backs on us. They stayed and listened. That's just the kind of people they are. Makes sense they'd get along with someone like you who tries to push others away. Get along? I'm upholding my part of the bargain. There's nothing more to it than that. Yet. If you say so. Ah, I'd nearly forgotten why I came. Are you hungry? We all get rations, and considering the work you're doing, you're as good as one of us. This has got to be soup. I am running low on ether. Very well. Please be soup. Oh, it's bread. That As looks like a giant bow. Boots, they call them. Oh, <laughs> that's like literally what it is. It's like Final Seven, Final Fantasy Bowser dumplings. Yum! I love these. Those are huge. Never had a dumpling. It's like the kind of bread stuffed with a filling, Yum. meat or vegetables usually that you bake or steam. We have our own recipes in Galamol too. My mother liked to make them. My brother and sister always fought over the jam-filled ones. Just think of it as bread, all right? <gasps> Why was that animation so high quality? That looked so delicious. What the hell? Mmm. <laughs> Yum. I should warn you, though, they're spicy. It helps them keep longer, I assume. Too much for the children to handle, though. Yum. Interesting. Interesting good or interesting... I don't know much about taste. Not anymore. But I do feel a sensation in my mouth. Hey, yo. Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. Huh? That's enough for me. I've heard it said that spices are more akin to fire than flavors. Perhaps that makes them easier to understand. Oh, Euless, getting acquainted with Zero, are we? Um, I, I suppose I am. No harm in that. Acquaint away. Acquaintance way? I know that, Bunny. Ah, everyone is here. Excellent. Thank you all for your hard work. I've just finished up myself. Shall we go and find Estinian? I hope this mammoth is fixed already. I want to go. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Erm, um, what's going on? Wait, I got to see something before we continue. Jesus, man. Clean it up. Why is it still there? Forgive me the interruption, but I come with grave news. Uh-oh. A horde of voids and are approaching from the mountains to the east. Their numbers are beyond anything we've ever seen. Oh. Uh, what? But you stole in the others. Anyone outside the tertium is in danger. We must find and bring them all here at once. Can we count on your aid, Zero? I've already settled my debt for my question. I'm not obligated to help. Oh, God. What's more, death, uh, death in this world is absolute. You asked me to put my life on the line. Without suitable payment, I will do no such thing. That's fair. What do we have to offer that might be enough? You're right, Zero. You're not obligated to help, but I wouldn't presume otherwise. And I wouldn't presume otherwise. Nevertheless, we are in need. Assuming the... The booze I gave you... Oh, the... The bow... 
dumpling. I gave you is worth anything. Would you at least be willing to stand watch at this encampment? That way more of us will be able to go out and see the people to safety. Very well. Unless we come under attack, I'll do no more than stand watch. I dare say Tertium will be safe enough with Zero here. Let us go and find Yustola and the others and assist with the evacuation. Booze? Is that how you say it? Booze? They look super yummy. I want one. Why do I feel like they're trying to distract us and then they're going to attack the camp? Report. Lost contact. When? Void sent. I bet my life on it. Understood. I'll investigate at once. A unit transporting supplies has gone silent en route to broken glass. I will go and search for it. Stay here and keep watch. But be ready to answer my call. Uh-oh. If it was Void sent, you'd be a fool to go alone. They'll find you before you find your men. And then they'll devour you as well. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I don't stand a chance. But I can't just abandon them. Giga Chad. I can't repay you for the bread if you're dead. I'll go. What? No! I couldn't possibly ask you to do that. I'm far better suited to dealing with Void Scent. It makes sense. She's so hot and cold, man. Or do you mean to say you'd rather I stay here because you can't protect this place on your own? You know what it seems like to me is that she really wants to be nice, but she's got she's got this like mental wall where she doesn't want to seem like she's weak to us, which is, you know, kind of just her character. So it's probably exactly what's happening. I think she gets it. It's ego. Exactly. That's the word I'm looking for. She has a really big ego. In a lot more ways than one, I could draw a lot of comparisons to, like, make her, you know, like, with Garleans. Fine. Just don't do anything stupid. Promise me. There she goes. I wonder if we'll get to do a solo instance as her. Oh, my God. That's a lot. Damn these demons! Waxing slice. Damn, she's Return awesome. Camp. Now. I I have to admit though, she's awesome. She's yes, cool. Thank you. Kindred, why do you interfere? Ah, of course. You sold your soul to feed. She says, shut up, bitch. Rah! I have taken bread, but my soul is forever mine. That's a kind of cool line. Oh, we get to play as her, huh? Awesome! <laughs> Slice combo, AoE combo, bloodbath, communio, and engravement delivers a jumping attack with a potency of 150. It's a gap closer. Yeah. Oh. I cannot let you pass. Awesome. Wait, this music though. Communio time. Boom! That communio looks so cool. He's casting inner demons. Holy shit! There's so many. I'm gonna single target these guys down. Oh, they're all grouping up. Communio! Holy! Blackout? Don't cast that. Uh oh. What's that? Oh, it's a tower? I gotta soak it. Communio! Oh, look. There's some of the true damage that he's doing. Communio! Yeah! This song's awesome. What in the Nidhogg? This is crazy. Blackout. No, don't cast that. Ow! That was a lot of damage. You're gonna have to do something cool, Zero. This ain't looking good. More towers. Giga Communio! Bah! Oh my gosh, these are fast. Ah! Zero, no! Someone's gonna save her. Oh God! Oh, must the gate be for their light to come through. For real, that's that's a big gate. Is this it then? 
Ah, uh, dies of cringe. Just like that time. When light still shone upon the world. When the Contra Memoria still raged. Flashback? Stand aside if you value your life. We're only after women and wine. Darkness can take the rest. <laughs> You're not taking another step towards that village. Dude, see? She used to be awesome! Stupid girl. You were warned. She was a good'un. Uh-oh. Is he summoning Void Scent out of that? Or- Oh, they're using them as power! Oh. Interesting. When I say used to be a good one, I'm talking about specifically how the Zero we know would never stand up for people weaker than her, just for the sake of doing it. Gotcha. But she's doing it right here, presumably. I might be wrong, but she's heroic, empathetic. At least how she was acting, right? Maybe she was hired to protect this village or whatever, but she seemed pretty emotional about it, pretty invested. Yeah, dude, she kind of got owned. Those guys sucked up the Void Crystal boys. And they just walked right past her. They said, bonk, bonk, see ya. Get up. Get up, damn you. Maybe that's where her family and stuff lived. Too weak. I need help. Someone. Please. <laughs> I am thou. <laughs> thou art I could you imagine? <laughs> the same mistakes. The same ends. Again and again. What should I what could I have done? <laughs> what who What up? Oh, that was a nice touch. She like flashed back to when she needed help when she was losing. And then she cuts back and she's actually getting help. That's awesome! Yishtola and Estinian had matters well in hand, so we went where we were needed. Can you stand? We're a little late, but we've come to help you. Man, I'm glad I chose to play Paladin for this patch. That looks awesome. All right. I will let it burn. This fire in my breast. Let it burn and rage and guide. What? Kill. All right, guys. Let's freaking do it. I'm totally guessing my opener here. Bah! 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 Dude, I kind of like how this paladin feels now. I gotta be so honest. 700 potency goring blade! Die! I can keep this divine might stack for a while. That's pretty cool. Oh, but it refreshes every time I do a 1-2-3 combo, right? Is that how it works? Excuse my unexperienced paladin uh, opinion, but I don't know. This feels kind of good. It feels much less confusing than it used to be. It feels a, lot, a hell of a lot smoother, for sure. Oh, yeah, and Divine Veil is just a, a big shield now. I can just press that. Just pop it. Yeah, and Fight or Flight is just straight damage buff now. So it doesn't matter what you use in it. It's all buffed. Do something crazy. Do something stupid. Yo, she's doing the end. Yo, can I give her an intervention? Oh, I can. Awesome. Yo, she's about to fucking LB4, bro. What's going on? 
Yo! Awesome! She said, I am your end! Kill! Dude, what the hell? I, I love Paladin now. That's so fun. I'm actually gonna play it. <laughs> you did well to find me out here. We have Eulis to thank for that. He was quite worried when he called. The people of Garlemald thank you. No. If it was not for you and the others, I... Well, let's not fuss over details. We should return to Tertium. Can you make it that far? I think so. Zero, are you all right? Well enough. No void sent struck here, did they? No, and there weren't any more casualties thanks to you. I had to make a tweet about Paladin. <sighs> Whoa, you good? Whoa! <sighs> what are you doing? You'll have no debts to repay, if that's what you're worried about. If anything, I owe you a week's worth of boots. Mm. <laughs> Dude, you know what's cool about this? Is that literally, this is such good storytelling. Literally just before this, Alizé answered to Zero. Zero was like, why do you help people? Zero was just like, why, why? And then Alize goes, I just followed my heart. I did what was the right thing. And then what I got out of it came afterwards. And look at what Zero just did. Followed her heart, helped people. And then afterwards, she's getting this thank you. And, you know, this praise and the good feeling. She's smiling. Look, it's awesome. It's awesome. It makes me feel so happy. And a week's worth of dumplings. Yep, that's the best part, actually. Zero's convalescing aboard the train. Eulis uh, has already given her something to eat. So I suppose all we can do is wait. Also, yeah, the shipping is uh, totally set sail already, I think. <laughs> I can't help but wonder, though, what possessed her to go and fight all those void scent on her own? Not that I know the going rate for such things, but I doubt one booze would suffice. I think someone has been a bad influence on her. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, I'm just joking. Or am I? In any case, many people uh, owe her their lives. I'll be sure to thank her when she's back on her feet. Yeah, that was really nice of her. Apologies for the delay. I finished replenishing my aether. That was fast. Damn. Full glad am I to hear it. We must thank you again, Zero. Indeed. Many are still alive because of you. Those soldiers, not least of all. How fared you? Better than I did, by all accounts. We had to contend with our fair share of void scent and route to the Snowcraft, but we had the benefits of numbers. With their help, we quickly dispatched all the void scent that came our way. Thankfully, they stayed dead in our world. We were trying to decide what to do next when we received word about the transport, which is how Alize, Anuccio, and I came to find you. While the immediate threat has been addressed, we cannot rest easy yet. For void scent to appear in such numbers, we must assume that a void gate has indeed been opened somewhere nearby. Oh yeah. Meaning more of them can come through at their leisure. It seems the best course of action is to investigate Lapis Manalis as you intend. What is the state of the Snowcraft? You know what worries me is that that attack specifically looked to be organized by the void scent. You know, and it's it's not just like they're like trickling through like that was like an organized like force that just came through. I wonder what the hell is going on. Nearly operational, I believe. Uh, Vricho was with the, is with the engineer who is hard at work as we speak. Why don't we join them in Cerulea Ingens? Finally, a chance to go on the offensive. It's weird that they're attacking Garlemald at all. What would the goal be? You know what I think? This is just a wild guess, but considering we now know about this um, outlawed village of Garleans that used to be Reapers, right? Think about how Zero was forced to be the avatar for Xenos. Maybe the Void Scent are trying to get revenge on the Garleans for forcing them to work for them? Do the Void Scent even understand the concept of revenge? I don't know. Possibly being led by the Fire and Water Arc Fiends. True. Yeah, that could be a thing as well. Needless to say, I think we can all agree that there's definitely a Void Gate in that village, right? And that's where we're going. But why it's still there and why they're coming through in, like, organized attacks, we're going to have to find out. I wouldn't dream of refusing you, but uh, what did you have in mind for payment? Payment won't be necessary. Oh, she just wants to come help. I will do this because I want to. There you go! You have kindled something within me. A compulsion, a desire to act that has been burning since you came to my aid out in the snow. I do not understand it, but I wish to. And to that end, I will heed it then perhaps I'll understand your answer. That's the magic of it. You don't have to understand it. Look at her go. I would also like to join you in tracing the void sent to their origin, though that would mean neglecting my duties here. Don't worry about us. 
Between my people and the contingent, we can keep things running well enough. Just find where the Void Center are coming from and see that they stop. Take care, Zero. I will. They're so cute. <laughs> Thanks to Varshan's help, I've managed to finish repairs faster than I anticipated the mammoth's ready for snow once more. Awesome. Oh, you can leave the piloting to me too. Uh, it'd be my pleasure to get you to where you need to go. Awesome. You're too kind. Thank you. Let's be on our way then, shall we? Hey, yo, dungeon time. Sick. Ilzabard, Lapis Manalis. Yo, that mammoth is huge. All right, let's see if it shows the, the portraits of everybody. It should, right? Portraits? Awesome! Wait, that was cool. <laughs> oh, wait, does my... My second part of my AoE combo should get... Oh, awesome. Okay, so my AoE combo is one, two, uh, holy circle. One, two, holy circle. That's kind of wicked. And I can see the cooldowns everyone has. Thank God. Feast. All right, where do we go? Where do we go? This way? Up? We go this way? Double pull? Dude, Paladin's so fun! What the hell? I hate that I'm saying that, because I used to hate this job. It's cool now! Oh, I see snow coming out of the side. Is something gonna... Oh, there's like a stampede of animals. <laughs> see. Holy! Look at him go. Knock on ice. Uh... Icebreaker? Oh, he's gonna do AoEs around whatever ones he blows up. And then he breaks it and then we spread. We probably gotta get behind one. Sick. Oh god. It's so chaotic. Oh shit, there's more! Ah! Oh, oh, I killed him. Okay. <laughs> What is this armor? Dude, that's cool as shit. All right, there's Void Scent in here. Just gonna hollow this pull. Why not? Good song. Lar. Oh, is this the village? This is the village, isn't it? We go over here. Oh, cool. What are these guys? Are these mammoths? What the hell are these? What the fuck? There's probably some extra lore on those, but I ain't reading all that shit. Oh, here's that boss we kept, uh, kept seeing pictures of. She's a reaper. She's gotta be. Oh. Soul Nebula. Is she gonna go backwards, maybe? Oh, it's just a raid white. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, she has an X pattern from each one of those. Oh, you got an S on me. Oh, no. <laughs> Gives doom, holy shit. <laughs> oh, don't look at us. Oh, it petrifies. Soul Scythe, she's gonna go forward over there, I think. She's doing like Reaper moves, it's awesome. This is a raid web. Okay, she's gonna do an X from all of those in order. So, right here is safe. Oh, it's a little bigger than I thought. Two. Three, and then four. That's fucked up. All right, get ready to look away. Look away. Awesome. Rip that guy. I liked that, that fight. Oh! That like X pattern with the doom she had was really cool. What the heck is going on in here? Oh, that's a big void gate over there, isn't it? Oh my God, this place looks crazy. What the fuck? Oh, watch it be as Daya. What the hell? Oh, it's one of the arch fiends. Well, hey, FF4 moment. Yeah, I thought he was going to be a duo with fire as the trial. Water balls? AoE maybe? Like rotate into it once they blow up? Yeah. I see. And then a knockback. Yep. Ooh. 
believe right where I'm standing is safe. Oh, he's spinning out of control. Look at him go. Cursed Tide. Okay, I think I'm a stack later. Oh. So those are spread, and then you gotta stack with me in like 10 seconds. Help! Oh! Yo! Rah! That's awesome as hell! Void Cleaver. Oh? Um? Oh, they're gonna just point at us. Okay. Can I point mine out? Yeah, you can point it out. This boss is cool as shit! Kill him! Dude, that tidal wave attack was so cool. Let's see the player comment window. Oh, I can only commend this one player because everyone else is on my friends list. Can I scale the window to be bigger? Yo! Awesome! Dude, Paladin's fun as shit right now. That was awesome. Tell me one thing, Kanyatso. A dragon of our world crossed over into yours long ago. But I have felt her presence here again. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> I dare say what you felt was this. By the sisters. Um... That's not good. <laughs> what have you done to us, Daya? If you want answers, you'll have to get them from Lord Golbez. Assuming you've the strength to face him. Oh yeah, easy. A pity I will not see the plan to fruition. But my part is done. And to fight with the thrill of battle in my heart makes it all the more worthwhile. No! Wait! Where is she? Where is my sister? At long last, I go to join the great Blah, Dies. Wait, did the eye go with him? What the hell? Oh, okay, it's still here. Um, maybe that can help us? By the gates closing, there can be no doubt that he was the one who opened it. Oh, Ashdaya. I prayed we might meet once more. She is likely still in the void. Take heart. We will find her yet. Yeah, with the eye, we can probably find her. And yeah, chat, don't be scared of a dragon eye. We used Midgard Storm- or not Midgard Stormer's eye. Race Velger's eye. That didn't go that bad. The only bad eyes, in quotation mark, bad eyes were Nidhogg, and that was because he was like pissed off and like trying to possess whoever used it. I think we can assume Ajdaya probably wants to come home. While you discuss how to proceed with your search, I would excuse myself to look around. There may be salvage that we could use at the camp. Very well. Let us take a moment to consider our options. I'll never pass up the opportunity to listen to Dragon Song. It's my favorite song in this whole game. All right, Vritra, shove it into your own eye socket. I think that will help. So, we have discovered the source of the Void Sent outbreak in, Gar in Garlemald. The gate forced open from the Void. The barrier between our worlds is especially thin here, I suspect. Elsewise, I see little reason why the Reapers chose to live in such an inhospitable place. Yeah, what's all this blue stuff, actually? Even if the conditions are ideal, we're talking about a gate that could pass an Archfiend. Opening one so large could not have been so easy. In the age of a lag, Emperor Zande created an enormous portal using pro uh, a prodigious amount of aether harnessed by the Crystal Tower. In theory, a similar feat should be possible from within the void. One need but have the requisite amount of aether, such as that harbored by a Great Worm's Eye. And its aether is indeed greatly diminished. In Anuchia's vision, Golbez left his archfiends to feed upon Ejdaya's aether. If he has also taken an eye to open this gate... It does not bode well, I know. Nevertheless, we must remain hopeful and continue our search. What I find curious is why our foes chose to strike now, some 5,000 years after Ajdai have vanished into the void. And while their overarching plan remains a mystery, what exactly Cognazzo's part in, uh, what exactly was Cognazzo's part in it that he had finished? Yeah, they can totally live without their eyes. 
It's just their eyes hold a lot of their power. I cannot bear the thought of her being held captive a moment longer. But how will I find her? What must I do? Calm yourself, Ritra. I appreciate that you're upset, but such passion clouds your judgment. You must endeavor to remain composed. When your mind is clear, we may consider how to proceed with our search. In the meantime, I will help Alphino and Alze back at the village. Um. Oh. That's creepy. Hey, look, Reaper. There are no signs of void scent, and I doubt we'll see more now that the gate has been closed. As for Alphino, he set his sights on the Cerulean Spring. We're hoping to take as much of the stuff as the Snowcraft can bear. That much fuel would keep the people warm for a good while. True. I guess it's Ceruleum, yeah. We've managed to procure a few suitable containers for transporting the Ceruleum, and we're about to return to the spring. If you have a mind to scrounge up more containers, I can take what you have now and get them filled. Thank you, Asinian. The more we can load into the Snowcraft, the better. Would you and Yashtila mind helping us with our search, then? You'll need to take any suitable containers to the spring and then back to the Snowcraft once you've filled them with Ceruleum. It is a welcome change to have Zero helping us of her own volition. Perhaps she is finally beginning to trust us. I was thinking the same thing. This place is so pretty. It's also kind of dangerous that all this ceruleum is, uh, you know, on fire, it looks like. What? Filled to the brim with ceruleum, mishandling of this container may result in severe burns or the death of your loved ones. What the fuck? My apologies for the delay. Are you all right? I am. As distressing as this turn of events was, the eye itself gives me cause to hope. While it is no longer possessed of Ashdaya's will, it may yet lead us to her. Were it not for your encouragement, I would never have dared to embark on my search. Isn't- Much less come this far. I will not lose faith. I will find my sister, wheresoever she may be. Ishtola is looking at it, though. Though tainted, the eye has not fully succumbed to darkness. As Daya herself may have been able to resist its influence. Mm hmm Well, as much as we'd love to take part in your next foray, we can't abandon our efforts here. Indeed. We'll need to keep a close watch in case the void gate opens again as well. Though should it prove safe to do so, I have some ideas for how we might put this village to use. Do what you must. We will manage. To free Ashdaya, I expect we will have to deal with Golbez once and for all. After which you may undertake your work without worry. You'll take good care of everyone, won't you? What? Why do you ask me this? Because comrades look out for one another. And I can't think of anyone more qualified to keep them safe. Erm, um, points at myself. She's gonna tip her hat because she's cringing and shy. True. Yep. I will do no less than I've promised. <laughs> I've noticed she does that every time she's shy or embarrassed. I suppose this is where we part ways for now. Though we have every faith in you, we will pray for your safety all the same. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Zero. Take care. Until next time. Until next time. Aw, she's gonna miss Alizé. Am I right in assuming that we return to the void? Now that matters here have been settled, yes. But first, we should return to Radzahan to prepare. When everyone is ready, let us convene at the Mega Duda. If everyone is ready, then let us depart for Al Zadal's legacy. Uh. Uh. That looks like fire. Is that coming from the ocean? What was that? Good question, man. A deluge of ether. The mark of a terrible magic. It wasn't far from here. Let's go. Erm, um, who just blew up the ocean? What's up, man? What happened? Hey, you! Stop! If you're thinking of taking to sea, don't! What has happened? We were out working our nets when a light suddenly shot up over Barflower Isle with a boom! A massive fiend then took to the skies! It's gotta be the fire fiend. It was fiend. A blasphemy, we feared. But we didn't linger to find out. Did you see where it was headed? I can't say for sure, but it looked like it was northward bound. I see. Our thanks for the warning, and do not let us keep you. Bafla Al is connected to Al Zadal's legacy. This cannot be a coincidence. In response to Kanyatso's defeat, 
They've come for our gate. So it seems. I would ascertain the situation of the vault, but the fiend must be dealt with, ere people come to harm. I shall assume my dragon form and seek it out at once. Damn, he's going in. You heard the fisherman. A blasphemy, they called it. If another flying creature were sighted now, others will assume the worst and panic will spread. This is not the way. True. I didn't even think of that. I'll see to the fiend. You are right, Mr. I will gather my soldiers and search the isle for casualties. As you wish, the fiend is yours. Fist punch. The hunt will go more swiftly with help. Zero. Might I prevail upon you to accompany her? Very well. <gasps> she said yes. Awesome. We know the art. Uh, we know the fiend was headed north, uh, but that still leaves a lot of ground for us to cover. We need a way to conduct our search more efficiently. Do you have any ideas? I know people who may have seen something. In other words, we seek help from the locals. If you think it's best, then very well. So where to then? The great work and the encampment at the Hamza Hatchery. Both places are to the north, and the people may have seen something. Yes. All right. Let's go. I want to see the clear blue theme. Yo, that looks so clean. Oh, I love that, actually. Big fan of this. I'm going to keep this on. We're going to fight the fiend up there, bro. Mother of God. Dude, I'm a big fan of this blue. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. We were too late. The vault has been destroyed. The alchemical furnace with it. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> this was their true objective to deny us entry into the void. Kanyatso and Ajdaya's eye were a diversion. I knew it! A means to detain us in Garlemald. While they went to work here. I knew it! I called it even! To reduce the vault to rubble. That which you hunt is no ordinary foe. Have care. My god! Oh boy. Such an exquisite sight. The canvas of vibrant colors. As was our world, too. One of Golbez's champions, I presume. He looks awesome. I am. Rubicante, the archfiend of fire. All right, Rubik's Cube, slow down. A monster in flesh. Yet in spirit, I remain a man. A prisoner of the past. Did your other shoe remain in the past too? You look goofy as hell floating up there. Such tears I wept when darkness consumed the world. Until Lord Golbez came and spoke of salvation. Thus do I walk proudly at his side to see his dream fulfilled. Your heart is pure. For benevolent cause you seek the dragon. But I cannot allow you to have it. Cannot allow you to interfere. If you would continue, then there is but one recourse. That at least lets us know that she's alive, or still exists, at least. <laughs> I shall await you at the summit. Come, mortal. Come and weigh your righteousness against mine. Awesome. He's gonna light this whole fucking summit up. <laughs> this place is about to go boom! Say goodbye to all this vegetation. Mount Ordeals. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome! I like it already. We ready? Oh, look at that! <laughs> it's us! I love that. I don't know why I'm potting, but fuck it. Inferno. Assume that's a raid wide. Holy. Lots of lines on the floor for this fight. Okay, he's facing this way. I'm gonna not go that way. Whoa! What the? Oh, okay, this is gonna be like a. I see, I see. What the fuck? Huh? Um. Okay, he locked us in place. Oh! 
Okay. Cool. That's creative. I like that. Shattering heat, tank buster. Okay, that's rotating. Oh boy. Oh god. I think this is him just transitioning the phase. Yeah. He's doing the circle things again. There's one purple one. I think we have to be on the purple one. The red ones might hurt us. Oh, it's rotating? But how much? I'm gonna stand here. Oh, he's rotating. Oh. Oh, he's not rotating where we stand. He's rotating which one he's hitting. Holy shit, what? That's cool. All right, so that one's getting hit. So here, I think. Trust me. Oh, I was wrong as fuck. No, I was wrong as fuck. <laughs> I think I saw it spin the wrong way. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, ads. Ow. Tank Buster. Blazing Rapture. That's probably going to hurt. Um, guys, look out! That doesn't look good. Gulp! This song is awesome. Oh? I am one with the flame. Yo! I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't even look that impressive. But go off, King. Spread. Ow, that has a bleed on it. Huh? What? What? Spread. Spread. Clock spots. Clock spots. Oh, there's returns! <laughs> Double tank buster. All right, I get to I get a redemption arc at this. Let's see if I can read this right. Okay, it's right here. Stand right here. I promise. I promise it's right here. It's right here. Back here. Right here. It's right here. That's a cool mechanic, dude. I really like that. The song is going crazy, dude. Dun, 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 dun. Fucking right on! Yeah! Awesome fight. That extreme's gonna be cool. You're probably only gonna be able to stand on the purple in the extreme, I bet. Look at this, dude. Commend person with a good one, with a good portrait. That was really fun. Big fan of that. I got player comms because of my portrait. <laughs> oh hey it seems i was a step too slow to defeat all of us arch fiends you are strong indeed yeah so that's all of them right why do you fight what is it that you wish to save you would know your enemy's heart very well it bleeds more than you can ever understand but I will speak, and you will listen. Well, he's being somewhat Learn reasonable, at least. Began. Story time! Grab your popcorn. Brain Blast! How long has it been since the world was undone? Since light and life gave way to darkness and undeath? Since we were reduced to beasts befouled, squabbling over what scant ether remains. But you are different. You remember who you were and the paradise for which you fought. That world will never be ours again. But we need not suffer in this purgatory of death and rebirth forever. Join me, and together we shall seek the promised land. There is no hope, no freedom from the wheel. 
You speak a fantasy. I speak truth. The Asian's revelation. There are other worlds than this. Ours is but one of fourteen. He knows. There is no greater proof than He's the a knower. we hear. Born of a neighboring reality. A reality to which we may journey if we can but break down the barrier that divides us. You meant it then. We will take this world as our own. <laughs> Count me in. In return for your strength, I offer you opportunity to pursue your own ends in service to a greater cause. A glorious kingdom of light, wherein all may know death's sweet embrace. Oh, uh, sure, man. And thus did we begin our great work. Yeah, he was kind of spitting facts until the very the end, actually. Conquer the source. Yeah, they wanted to go to the source. Just it's so. crazy. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. Why did they want to go to the source out of all of them? In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. You served Golbez of your own volition. As atonement for my failures. I tried to be a hero. Tried to stop the war. But I could not. So in turn you wage another. A means to a final end. The wheel of depravity must be broken. Even the most exalted succumb. We eat and eat and deepen the stain upon our souls until only the hunger remains. Is this to be our fate for all eternity? I kind of like what he's saying, to be honest. He kind of spitting. Let him cook. I don't know about this and a great many things, but I do know that it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. Mmm! An awfully mature take from Zero. Not everything need be a trade. This I learned from the people of this world. Damn, she turned around quick! Even without a contract, without any expectation of personal gain, they labor for one another. Yeah! I didn't understand it at first, and perhaps I still don't. But if I'm to achieve something, I'd rather do it their way. Else I'm already a hunger-maddened beast. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Perhaps we have indeed surrendered to the hunger after a fashion. Make for our moon. There you will find both Lord Golbez Dude. and your dragon. Rubiconte, Giga Chad. I love this guy. Are you betraying Golbez? Never. Our triumph is at hand, and the knowledge will avail you naught. But to be so viciously slandered. Pride demands I prove my virtue at the last. Very honorable. He's going for what he wants to go for, but he's going to be super honest about it. And perhaps your own will resonate with his. And draw forth that singular jewel which abides deep within his heart. Yeah, so desire which lies beyond his quest to free us from our purgatory. A desire all his own. That's my favorite Archfiend. No contest. Giga Chad. Imagine Golbez is us from that world. It makes sense. Actually, my inquiries delayed me. I'm not accustomed to conversation, but I'm glad I arrived in time to speak with Rubiconte. As much as I understand his motives, I believe there's a way, there's a better way, yours. The future you strive for is one I wish to see. And I want to know why I feel this way, why this fire burns in my breast. Good, chase that feeling. God's rebel lands tremble. Oh, is that the end already? There's nothing more for us here. What of Alzadal's legacy? Has there been word from Ishtola and the others? I see. 
frustrating, perhaps, but better that the gate be destroyed than used to unleash more void scent. We should return to the Mega Duda and rejoin the others. Thank goodness you're both all right. Unfortunately, we have nothing further to report apart from the loss of the gate. But tell us, how did you fare on the mountain? Well, he said Golbez is on the moon, right? Golbez aspires to deliver void scent unto the source, where they may die and return to the life stream to be reborn. Mm -hmm. Far be it for me to deny them, but the cost to our people would be beyond unconscionable. Indeed, void scent themselves are inherently dangerous. Never mind the chaos sure to follow should the barrier twixt our worlds be shattered. It would be naught less than a calamity. Can't let that happen. Certainly not. That said, our task has been rendered rather difficult. Yeah, so like, what's the course of action? The Void want to come here so they can finally die, right? Which I mean, like, understandable given their con or current circumstances. But we don't want them to come here because they're going to cause havoc while they do so. Do you think we're going to go and try to fix their world? Or at least make it so that they can die there, <laughs> maybe? Yeah? You think so, kitty? Can you guys hear Nia? What? Meow. What? <laughs> You're digging your claws into my expensive chair. Stop. Indeed. Rubicante has deprived us of a means to cross into the void. Open a gate between 1st and 13th and have them balance each other. That's... Not... Hmm. That sounds like a really good way to uh, cause a rejoining, but also that might just fucking work. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's an interesting theory, actually. Kenyatso's faint. That was doubtless what he meant when he said his part was done. Golbez sacrificed two archfiends just to stop us. He must need more time to break the barrier to our world. Then the days ahead will be critical. We must find a way back to the 13th. If you will excuse my absence, I shall return to Charlian to look for information. By all means. Meanwhile, I shall seek the counsel of our alchemists. I'm no scholar. Shouldn't be too hard. I'll find another way to keep myself busy here. You still alone will be more than a match for those tomes, yeah. <laughs> I don't doubt it. She's a veritable researcher of light. Nerd. Zero. May we call upon thee when next we venture unto the 13th. Aye. And in case you're wondering, I won't ask for further payment. I will go for myself to try and understand why I spoke the words I said to Rubicante. Mm. Good. And the fire I felt within when you all came to my aid in Galamald. She's awesome. Good for you, Zero. While our esteemed sorceress battles her tongues, let us see to our own affairs. She feels it, dude. She feels it. You know what that is? It's the indomitable spirit of the human race. Ra! Well, of the Aorzeans. Ra! I will not fail you again, sister. You never failed her in the first place, buddy. It's okay. Before you leave, I would once more express my gratitude. By your hand, has Thavnir been saved yet again? But before you delivered my people, you helped me rediscover hope. When the sight of my sister's eye left me bereft and adrift for a time. We may have lost the gate and Ozadal's legacy, but there's uh, there must be another way to tra travel to the void, and together we will find it. For now, I bid you rest and recover your strength. I too shall have my vessel improved ahead of our next foray. To achieve this, uh, his ends, Golbez has sacrificed his four generals. Such a ruthless foe is unpredictable in the extreme, but no matter what he plots, we shall do our utmost to see that he does not succeed. Cutscene? Meanwhile, in the four... Uh, oh, wait. Hold up. What's that? Uh... Meanwhile, on the moon in the 13th. <gasps> there she is. 
Oh my gosh! Dude! Kenyatso and Rubicante have joined with the great flow. In this world, tis the ravenous who are useful. And few were as ravenous as they. You were fine pawns, my arch fiends, and you have played your parts to perfection. Wait, what? He was planning that? But with the goal in sight, I need no minions to do my bidding. Here on, I shall walk alone. Let her go! Let her go! Um? Oh my god. Oh my god, it looks just like our moon. What? At long, long last, the end draws nigh. Yeah, that's the same pit Zodiac was in. But what's that above it? The end to life on that star. And the end to my suffering. Is that the 13th? That's the planet? Oh boy. Beyond closed gates awaits your foe, where no path leads and none may go. Oh boy! Well, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think of that MSQ? I'm really, 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 really happy with the direction they're taking Zero. I like her now. I like her a lot now.